This is a The Right Time with Bomani Jones YouTube exclusive. Subscribe to our channel. Keep coming back to get more exclusive content just like this. Hey, man, I want to give all the credit in the world to Shohei Otani for uh, getting his $700 million contract. I really, really do. I just need to understand what the hell they be doing in Japan where they tell you that $700 million, but $680 million of it is an IOU is like really what's hot in these streets. Like he ain't even going to charge them no interest. That was the part that got me. Like when you hear the stories about the deferred payments or like happy Bobby Bonilla day, go look how much money Bobby Bonilla has actually gotten versus what the deferred payment was. There was interest involved. Now, of course, the Mets were willing to do that because they had a better way to get returns on their money. It was a Ponzi scheme. But anyway, you got the point. Otani out here like, nah, $7 million, but it's cool. Y'all can pay me later. It'll be fine. I understand that the new ownership for the Dodgers is a different situation. I really do. And I know that owners got more money than they used to. I just need you to keep in mind that the last person that owned the Dodgers before this was a dude named Frank McCourt who bought the team with no money and then had to sell the team because he was getting divorced and he ain't had the money to pay up to get that woman. And so, I mean, that's a whole different story. He, he, he bought a team with no money, left with a billion dollars in ownership of the parking lots. Amazing levels of finesse. All I'm saying is, why the hell would you assume that somebody going to have your $680 million later? I just, I just don't, like, they always talk about uh, every time somebody do some dumbass shit with their money um, in America, we need to teach the financial literacy in schools. As if these kids are learning the other shit that we teaching them in schools. I probably think we need to get better at what we got and then move on from there, right? What the hell are they teaching y'all in Japan, man? What they doing? Uh, that, that's all I'm asking you is what the hell are they teaching in Japan? They, they, they say that what had happened was he went and asked for this. I've heard something about the idea that um, this would help them sign other players or whatever. It was light on the luxury tax for the Dodgers. The Dodgers would still have to pay $46 million on the luxury tax um, on the contract this year. But... Let me tell you what else I thought was crazy in the discussions that are surrounding uh, Otani when it comes to this, okay? They out here talking about the league isn't going to allow this because of the deferral and they skipping out on the luxury tax. No, 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 no. The league was always going to allow this. I, I personally, myself, I could be wrong here. I can't think of anything else that the league would want more than what Otani just did. Can you imagine if the league is able to come in and every team can negotiate a contract with somebody and they throw this number out here and then be like, but we'll pay you later. Why would they ever want to outlaw that? They we got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you got to do is just holler back at us in about 10 years and then we going to give you like $68 million at a time. This, this is, this is the, this is, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Mookie Betts looking at him like, look, man, I don't know what the hell you all, but pff, ain't the rest of us. I, I, what I can't believe is that the union went for it because the Players Association has been notorious about telling people like, hey man, you need to take the, the best money deal or whatever it is. I can't believe they out here letting it, like bringing in the IOU era of baseball. $70 million a year, $68 million comes later. And the argument is, well, he makes $50 million or uh, $45 million or something like that away from baseball, so he don't really need this other money. I believe that he doesn't really need the other money. I, I think that's, that's, that's true, right? If you've already got $45 million, I understand it. What would you need this other money for? You know why I need this money? Because I need this goddamn money. That's why I need this money. You know why I need this money? Because it's my money. You may be holding it, but it is my money. Why do I need this money? So you don't have this money no more. I got no idea what you're going to do with this money. Like, look, man, Magic Johnson seems cool as hell. They keep telling me what a great businessman he is. I believe that he's a great businessman and he can play around with his own money. But when it comes to my $68 million, I don't want to see what magic trick he might do with my money. The only magic trick I want to see him do with my money is to get that shit to me. That's what I want. I can believe that. It blew my mind. People's first thought about this is, oh, I don't know if they'll, the leagues will allow this. The union need... All that being said, he's a really good baseball player. And on top of the fact he's a really good baseball player, what I find wild about this is, 
he's worth the money they spend and the man be out there working double shifts. I don't know how long he'll be able to keep pitching all of that stuff, but whatever, right? Like he seemed to be dope. My only thing is because of the way that baseball creates the random championship generator, I don't know how much more likely it becomes they win a championship because they got him. I really don't. I'm sorry. I tried to come up with something else and I just can't get past this. $68 million a year worth of IOU. <laughs> Could not be your boy. Prize Picks is the most fun you can have by winning up to 25 times your money this football season. And now you can play during basketball season two. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. Prize Picks is really simple to play. You can make our picks and submit your entry in less than 60 seconds. So make sure you go to prizepicks.com slash Bomani and use code Bomani for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash Bomani. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. 